Uh, what's up guys? Um, in today's video we're going to be talking about strings and some of the useful methods that you can use to manipulate those strings and uh, create some new values. Um, what I can tell you right now is that the AP subset and and specifically the AP free response questions will heavily test your knowledge of strings and how to manipulate them. So it's super important to understand some of the methods that you can use to uh, mess around with strings. So just some background stuff. Obviously, a string is a sequence of characters, and um, when you are when you are initializing a string, uh, the value of that string is represented by quotes, so it's bounded in quotes. So if we look at this example here, string the truth is equal to I love APCS, um, and this sorry, and this print statement right here will say system dot out dot print the truth is plus the truth. So, so this will in turn print out the truth is I love APCS, uh, and that may be true or not for you guys, but Definitely I do. <clears throat> and we're, we're also going to talk about some useful implementations that you can use to manip manipulate those strings. So what I did is I created three strings, string 1, 2, and 3. And obviously I set those values to 1, 2, and 3. And these methods will hopefully give you some insight on how to manipulate those strings. So our first our first print statement says system.out.print 1.char at 1. And what we wanna what we wanna understand that in Java and many programming languages the element starts at zero, so that means that um, if we look at if we look at this if we look at this string that says one, the 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 first element which would be zero would be one. So if you wanted to print uh, that z that that o, then we would say system dot out dot print out one dot char at one. So if we look at this print statement, it says one, which is referring to this string dot char at one. And because because element, like we said, elements start at zero, this is going to print n because z, because o would be the the zero element, n would be the first element, and e would be the second. So this would return n. And in this next print statement, we can say, we can see that it says system dot out dot print three dot index of h. So we go to our three, and what this method does is it looks for an index of a specific char. So it's looking for the index of h, and we see that the h is at the at the one index because t is zero and h is one and r is two, and it'll print out one. So this will print out one dot char at one. will print out n, a, a char, and uh, three dot index of h will print out one or an int. And obviously the next print statement is pretty self-explanatory, but it says system.out.print 2.length. And what this is going to do is it's going to take the length of that string, and this is super, super important, um, understanding this length method, because you can do a ton of stuff with it. Um, and so we look at 2, and we see that it's of length 3. And although the index starts at 0, the length is still of 3 chars. Um, but keep in mind that if we wanted to find the char at 3, it would give us an error message. If you wanted to f find this, this O, then you have to do char at 2, obviously, because we talked about the element starts at 0. And that's super important to understand. And our next print, print statement says system.out.print 3.substring of 2 and 4. And what this will do is it'll ob obviously go to our substring, or sorry, our, our, our uh, in our next in our and our next print statement basically says three dot substring of two and four. And what substring does is it allows you to create a new string, or basically chop a string and create a new one. So if we look at our three string, it's T H R E E, which starts at zero, one, two, three, four. And what the what the three dot substring two and four is gonna do is it's gonna go to that, that two index, which is R. And it's going to go to that four index, and it's basically going to chop those up, starting at two and ending at four. So what this is going to print out, and this may sound very confusing. I'm not doing a great job of explaining this. Uh, I'll show you in an IDE a little bit later. But basically, what what this statement is going to print out is re, because it it's it's basically taking the sub string of two and four. So it goes to the two index, which is r, and it goes up until uh, it reaches four, which it doesn't, which it cuts that out too. So this will print out re. I'll explain this in depth a little more later. You might be very confused, but um, we're just going to keep going through these implementations. So the next print statement says three dot char at two dot length minus one. And keep in mind, um, length minus one is something you'll see a lot because obviously um, you can't you can't take the char at two dot length because that'll give you an error message because again um, length starts at one but elements start at zero. So it's saying three dot char at. So we look at our three string. 
and it says char at 2 dot length minus 1. And we look at our 2 dot length, and we set up here that it's 3, and if we subtract that by 1, it'll be 2. So what this is basically saying is 3 dot char at 2. And so we go to 0, 1, 2, and this will print r. And for our next one, um, it says system.out.println, again, 3 dot substring of 2. Before, substring of 2, comma 4 printed out re. In this example, 3 dot substring of just 2 will print out re. -E, and it'll cut everything before the 2 uh, index, and it'll go until um, the string is done. So, I hope those kind of gave you, I hope I did a good, a good job of explaining some of those useful implementations, but obviously, to understand them better, you're going to need lots more practice. So, what I did is I pulled up something that could be a, a practice AP free response question. Um, it's, it's pretty simple, but what it basically says is this. We have a string method, and it says public string, find the first half, um, and string string. So what, what is basically happening is in our client uh, class, or our main class, we, we set our test cases, and I'll go over these a little bit later if you don't know what these are, but it says test.find the first half, which is calling to this method, and because it has um, a, a parameter of a string, you have to declare that string in your, in your client class. So we declare that string, yes ma'am, and what it prints out is yes. So basically what this method is doing is it's chopping the, the, the string and it's finding only the first half. And so again, if we look at another example, it says test.find the first half, and if we uh, use the string hi hi, it prints out hi. If we use the string yes ma'am, it'll print out yes. If we use the string yes yes, it'll print yes. So it's, it's going to take half of that string and return a new one. So the answer is currently blocked out. If you want to pause the video and try to... Um, come up with the solution yourself, I think that would be the best way. If you cannot figure it at all, I'll explain it. So, you can pause the video, you can do whatever, whatever helps. I'm just gonna drag this out. So what, what we're doing here is we're setting a local string called half, and we're saying that half string is equal to the string, which is the, the string that you're, you're calling in your client class, which in this case could be yes ma'am or hi hi, and we're, we're gonna take the substring of that, um, with zero and that strings length divided by two because we're finding half so what that'll do is it'll start at the zero index of the string and again because it's substring it'll go all the way up to um, half that string length which will obviously be half um, and then from there we can return that string and it should print half of that I hope this give, gave you a better understanding on some of the useful implementations that you can use with string. If you're still confused, I'll go over some of these topics a little more in depth a little bit later. But thank you for watching this video.